But first, I want to take you behind the scenes of campaign spin, and particularly how the Democrats have tried to spin Tim Waltz's weird debate performance this week, particularly this moment when Tim Waltz made what can only be assumed to be a slip of the tongue and claimed that he was friends with school shooters. Yeah, I sat in that office with those Sandy Hook parents. I've become friends with school shooters. I've seen it. Look, the NRA, I was an NRA guy for a long time. They used to teach gun safety. I'm of an age where my shotgun was in my car so I could pheasant hunt after football practice. <laughs> friends, friends with school shooters? Yikes. Not only did Waltz and his handlers wish they could forget that moment and indeed his whole performance on the night, but, well... They're also hoping voters do, too. Check out this little video they put out of Tim winding down after the debate. Yes. Yes, I do want to go. Let's go get some pizza. Oh, that one looks good. Yeah, pepperoni sausage, pepperoni bacon, pepperoni pepperoni Let's do sausage. Yeah, yeah, Get that man a pizza and send the whole debate straight down the memory hole. It's like the whole thing never happened if you watch that. But as much as I give the core media a lot of stick on this program, not even they <coughs> could chuck that school shooter line down the memory hole because have a look at this clip, which reveals what was really going on when the Waltzes went out for pizza. What do you think your strongest moment was tonight? Oh, just uh. I think it was a good debate. The public got to see a contrast. Um, and I think the ending uh, sums it up, the democracy issues in full. So, Governor, you said you become friends with school shooters during the debate. Can you clarify what you meant on that? Can you clarify what you meant when you said you'd be friends with school shooters? Pretty awkward when even the press is turning the guy over that school shooter line. But also, it's so funny to me that after swapping out Joe Biden, the Democrats have got both a presidential and vice presidential candidate now who, when it comes to dealing with the press, are pretty much indistinguishable from the man they are trying to replace.